Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a highly requested recipe for some bun sugar cake or burnt sugar cake. Now, there's many different types of sugar cake, which is basically just sugar and coconut boiled together with some spices. But in Guyana, there's multiple versions. We make this burnt version, which is very caramelized with brown sugar and the coconut. We make the normal red version. Um, and we also make a version with the coconut that's chopped up into small chunks. So I'll share that recipe soon, but in the meanwhile, I hope you all enjoy this recipe. My mom and my aunts love this recipe, so definitely had to share this one. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take our freshly grated coconut and add it into a heavy bottom pan. Now, in my opinion, using a karahi or a very thick bottom pan works best for this. I'm using a non-stick pan here today only because I wanted to show you all that regardless of the kitchen tools you have, you can make some of these traditional Guyanese and Caribbean dishes. My heat is on a medium heat and I'm gonna parch or dry roast this coconut in the pan for about 10 to 12 minutes. The reason why I'm doing it longer than I would for normal sugar cake is because remember the sugar cake is supposed to be caramelized, it's supposed to be brown, and part of that color is gonna come from the brown sugar, but also from the brownness of the coconut. So it's been about 12 minutes on a medium heat at this point. My coconut has dried out slightly and it's nice and golden brown and mixed up throughout. So at this point, I'm going to transfer this into another bowl. I'm going to wipe out my pan and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Into that pan that we cleaned out, we're going to be going in with our brown sugar. Now I'm using the regular American brown sugar that you can find at the grocery store and a mix of the demerara sugar. That's just what I had at home. Now if you want to use all demerara brown sugar, use it. And if you want to use all regular brown sugar, be sure to use it. And I will let you know that if you use the extra dark brown sugar, you're actually gonna get a darker and better colored burnt sugar cake. So definitely go ahead and try that out. My heat is on a medium heat as I'm doing this, and I'm just gonna keep on stirring up that sugar until it starts to caramelize and until it starts to bubble slightly. Remember, we do not wanna burn the sugar per se because if it gets too black, then the sugar is gonna taste very bitter with the sugar cake. So we're taking it very slow. Remember I said it's on a medium heat. If you needed to move it to a medium low heat to make sure it doesn't burn, feel free to do that. This has been about six minutes at this point and the sugar has started to melt, but there's still some granules all the way throughout. So I'm gonna keep on stirring it, keep on moving it around, and then we'll let it go ahead and melt. This is what my sugar mixture looks like after almost 10 minutes of being in that pan and melting. Now I will say I lowered my heat to a medium low heat because this pan and my electric stove holds in a lot of excess heat, so I had to lower it. And before the sugar really truly starts to bubble and get crazy in the pan, you wanna go ahead and add in your coconut. You just really want it to melt and bubble slightly because if you let it burn, it'll get very, very bitter. So at that point, once it got to the color that I wanted, I went ahead and added in all of that coconut that we had shredded and roasted earlier. And as soon as you add in that coconut, you're gonna see that it starts to bubble up vigorously. All you need to do is make sure that as soon as you get that coconut in there, you mix it up very, very well until all of the coconut pieces are coated with that brown sugar mixture. And as soon as it's coated, you're gonna go in with your evaporated milk. I always recommend using evaporated milk whenever you're making the burnt sugar cake or any sugar cake because it's gonna boil better than regular whole milk would. As per the usual, all of my ingredients and the proper measurements will be left in the description box right below this video. So make sure you check that out when you're putting this together. At this point, I'm going in with some finely grated ginger and I'm using fresh ginger for that nice spiciness. And we're also gonna be going in with some freshly ground nutmeg. These are the only spices that I use when I make sugar cake. This is what my grandmother taught me. If you guys wanted to add in your cinnamon, if you like cardamom, if you like any other spices, add it in as per your preferences. I'm also going in with a little bit of Guyanese mixed essence. And all we're gonna do is keep on mixing this together and keep on boiling it down until that coconut has thickened and the whole mixture has thickened and dried out a bit. Remember, whenever I make sugar cake, it is not always crystallized. My family likes some more chewy sugar cake and we don't like it super sugary. So I don't add in as much sugar to get it to that very cakey and dry and crystallized texture. If you wanted that, you would have to go ahead and increase the amount of the brown sugar that you add in. And at this point, as you're boiling down the sugar cake, you could definitely keep it on a medium heat. So this way it bubbles vigorously and it dries out nicely. So check this out, guys. My sugar cake is all done. You're gonna know that it's done because as you're stirring it up, it's gonna feel a little drier than it did when you first put it in the pot. There's not gonna be any liquid left. And as you're drying it, you're gonna feel that it's almost bubbling away from itself. And that just goes to show that sugar is really boiling with all of the coconut. And also, if you're using a fresh coconut like I did today, you're gonna to notice some of that oil even start to release from it as well. So at this point, as soon as it's done, 
you can go ahead and take a piece of wax paper or parchment paper is what I recommend and you go ahead and drop little spoonfuls of this coconut sugar cake mixture onto your parchment paper or your baking dish or whatever you want to put it in. You can even spread this out into a dish and you can cut it up into squares. Like I mentioned, my brown sugar cake is a little bit chewier than the normal because that's the way my family likes it. If you wanted it to be very crystallized and very hard, you definitely have to go in with more brown sugar. And I'll leave all of the ingredients and the measurements in the description box for if you want a chewier sugar cake or if you want a harder sugar cake. And all you're gonna do is keep those sugar cakes on your surface that you laid them out on. And you can either stick them in the fridge or you can even leave them on your counter and just let them rest for a couple of hours. Now I let mine rest for about two to three hours before anybody dug into them. And they had the perfect texture in my opinion. They had the perfect taste. Remember, you do not want to burn that sugar too much or else it will taste very bitter. And of course that ginger, the nutmeg, and the vanilla or the mixed essence that we added in really, really shined through. And that fresh coconut really, really made a difference. So I hope you all enjoyed this recipe today. Please go ahead and give it a try. Leave me some comments down below and let me know that you tried it. And of course, I would really appreciate if you all would give this video a nice big thumbs up. And if you click that thumbs up button, you might as well click the subscribe button so you're subscribed and you never miss out on any of my newest recipes. You'll be notified every time I post something on my channel if you click that bell button next to the subscribe button as well. I'll see you all again very soon on my channel with my next recipe. Remember, we have the holidays of Shivratri dedicated to Lord Shiva, as well as Holi or Pagwa coming up very, very soon. So the spring has a lot of different desserts, a lot of different recipes that I will be sharing with you all in the coming future. So I hope you all enjoy and stay tuned. Bye everyone.